Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday, coming at you with 2020 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions Random Letter Break number seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think everyone by now knows the rules for all this sort of stuff, on that stuff, on this stuff, and all the letters and whatnot. I think everyone gets it, I think everyone here gets it. There you go, thanks everyone here for getting into the action. There are the letters right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Two and a three, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we got Matt Medlin down to John Hyenga. I saw John here earlier. Good to see you, John. I feel like we haven't seen each other in a while. Two and a three, five times for the letters. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. There you go. Five, we got Ari down to Jay. All right, Matt with A, John with R, Matthew G with uh, I, F, E, plus all the other letters not on this list. Jack B with V, Joe F with S, Jeremy with C, Eric with B, Greg with M, Jesse with T, Jeremy with W, uh, Oliver with D, Barry P, L, LeBron, Edwin with N, and John with J. If I pull any John Hanger cards, it'll go to John. Michael Jordan, right there too. Got Ari, Ari J, Ari Jaspi, maybe. She wants to work here. It's totally cool. Um, sort by column B by letter. It's open invite to Ariana Grande if she wants to break cases for Jaspi. She's more than welcome to. Um, we had those four boxes from the previous break right here. Remember that previous inner case I popped open? We marked those with uh, with X's. So you know they're from the same inner case. So now I have to find two more out of that inner case. So, and I'll flip back to that list in a second in case people want to trade. Knife? Oh, Knife is right here. Oh, it's really pouring out there in Washington, D.C. It's under a rain, Lankies National, and under a rain delay. All right, I'm just going to make this easy on myself here. So we'll go one, two, three, four on the dice roll. So one, two, three, four on the dice roll. Five or six, I'll just roll again. We'll use that one right here. Good luck, boxes. Four. One, two, three, four. So we'll do the bottom two. So we've got six left, so this will be for number eight. Alright, eight might not happen. Those may be safe for personal breaks. Alright. Here we go. Six boxes. Random letter seven. Good luck, everybody. So these packs are pretty terrible. Most of the time spent on this break is, I think, ripping open these difficult packs. But what's inside are pretty cool. All right, three hits per box is kind of what we're looking for. Some minis. The commons don't ship. Vet base doesn't ship, but obviously all the hits do. All right, hey, Leonard, what's going on? There you go, yeah. Jason Dominguez would be nice. Thank you. 
is who can adjust the value. And that's going to be the key this year. Flipping to the national side of things. Got to be careful with these two. Jeff Dorlack, what's going on? No, you know Tyler asked the same question, Jack. But no, I, th I think I think that would make it too dangerously close to one of their competitors. So no, I don't I don't I don't think Upper Deck went went that route. Although Panini did, so maybe Upper Deck will eventually add it to this. Malcolm, what's up? All right, here we go. Good luck. Oh, we've got Brendan Bayless, musician. There you go. I don't know who Brendan Bayless. Humphrey Humphreys McGee. I'm not familiar with this musician. He's an American musician. Oh, for progressive rock band, Umphreys McGee. There you go. Co-founder. All right. There you go. Knowledge. Uh, letter B. That's for E-O with B. Did I print out that list? I did not. There's the final list right there. Just kind of dove right into it. TWC, trade window closed. Let's print and rip. I was so eager to get into this break. I think I was dreading those packs. I love this, I love this stuff right here. The stuff, the cards itself are great. You know, great job to upper deck for that. Just the pack opening quality. That's, that's the rough, that's the rough one. I'm partial, Michael Wheelock. I'm partial to those sea creature cards. I don't know. I like those silly cards right there. The sea creature card. I mean, obviously, if like a Jason Dominguez auto pops or a, you know, LeBron, Tiger Woods, whatever, if those pop, I mean, that's obviously awesome, but obviously it's a little bit harder to pull those guys. But I kind of like the, uh, kind of like the sea creatures. I think there's a cat coming up, though. More, I, I like cats are fine, but I'm more of a dog guy. So when they did the dog set a couple years ago, or maybe last year, I love that. We've got a Obsidian cat. Look at that. That's pretty cute. What makes the Obsidian breed so special is its eye-catching hair. Its coat is ticked, meaning it's comprised of hair made up of different colors. Legend. Legends have it that these cats originated in Ethiopia but were brought to England and became hugely popular. This breed is also known for its dog-like affection for humans, though they may tend to grow sad when alone. How could you make this guy sad? Don't make, if you own an obsidian cat, ladies and gentlemen, do not make it sad. We'll get more top loaders to load that up. Oh, what's this? Ooh, we got a head of state and a coin. What a case, or what a box. We got James Monroe, former president. Got a vintage stamp in there. That's pretty sick. There you go. The fifth prez. Wrote the uh, Monroe Doctrine. All right, Monroe Doctrine was pretty great. Which warned European powers in America would not tolerate further colonization. Not us. There you go. J. John Hyanga with letter J. It's a old presidential stamp. And the coin is going to be the 1910 wheat cent. That will go to W. That will be for Jeremy 33. I wish they would show the back of the card because that's where the wheat is.
I think there, it's almost like a like a wreath. If you remember your wheat sense, I think that's what it looks like. All right, so now we just need to find a sea creature. Jack wants me to pull him a viper fish. That'd be pretty cool. There's Ben Simmons. These lumberjack cards have have a uh, wood finish on it, which is pretty neat. Next box, box two of six, random letter seven. Got a ton of ores to go through after this, so we'll go we'll go through that and see what else we can what we can get into uh, tonight. I know a lot of stuff sold out, so we'll just add to the break schedule, folks. We'll figure it out. Odds to win World Series: Dodgers seven two, Yankees seven two, Astros eleven to one. Twins fourteen to one, Braves fifteen to one, A's eighteen to one, Cubs twenty to one. I would take a flyer if you're looking for value. A's at eighteen to one. I take that. Uh, Max, the schedule's in the chat. If you read that. I don't know who Goodwin is. I think a lot of these, like like Goodwin, uh, Allen and Ginter, stuff like that, were maybe old tobacco company names. This must be an old tobacco company. I believe, I believe these brands may have either bought out or maybe the trademark on this had had expired or something, so yeah. I think they, a lot of these are like old tobacco company names from like the 1800s. What are the Twins World Series odds? Did I read those out? I, I'm just reading off the screen on ESPN during the rain delay. Interesting twins. How is their starting pitching situation? I think they need a. That's that's where they need to make that improvement. We know they can hit. Ooh, they got Kenta Maeda, right? Old former Dodger. I like Kenta Maeda. Michael Jordan mini. Oh, 12 to 1? Twins at 12 to 1, not bad either. Damn it. Sorry. We've got R.J. Hampton, Lumberjack Mini. Isn't he supposed to be a big future NBA prospect?
would have ordinarily been the case. And if that's so, with a trade deadline coming up at the end of August, and we got Rose Lavelle, soccer player. I'm going to say she's pretty good, right? John Hyanga with letter R. She's supposed to be. Yeah, she started six games, uh, and the uh, last World Cup, 2019 France World Cup, scored three goals, awarded the bronze ball. I don't know what the bronze ball is. The same year, she was named the sixth best player in the world, best season. No, she's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Joey, what's going on? It's Wander Franco Mini. <laughs> Watch out for those mini, mini cards. Scarface. S. Joe with the letter S. And we got Timothy Way. Way. Dual memorabilia. Another soccer player. T for Jesse. Things went great today. It was a, it was a little hectic, but it was a lot of fun. Right, next box. Wow, it's the, that range really coming down in DC. I don't think they're. East Coasters in the D.C. area. Is this game going to happen? Wow, it looks like it's just pouring. It's like buckets of water. Yeah, I am too. Someone was someone in the someone in the chat was telling me uh, that this was the this is the first rookie opening day starter for the Dodgers since like Fernando or since ever. Oh, odds on the Reds to win the World Series? I would imagine it's pretty long. I mean, if the A's are plus 1,800, the you know, Reds must be plus 2,000, 3,000, 3,500, more. Let's see, what, let's see what Bet Online says. Do I have MLB Futures? World Series Futures?
I don't I don't see it quite. Oh, odds to win the World Series, Reds are plus two thousand according to Bet Online, which is uh, twenty to one. Reds, uh, White Sox, Mets, A's also plus two thousand on Bet Online. I think uh, ESPN's numbers were Caesar's numbers, maybe. But around there. In a short season, yeah, the, the Reds could make some noise. They've got, um, they got the pitching. They got Luis Castillo. I think Sonny Gray is on that team. There's Mesut Ozil, Lumberjag. So they certainly got the pitching. They've got a bullpen, right? They've got a decent bullpen. They're hitting maybe. Use some uh, hitting maybe? Ooh, look at this. The Wolf and the Shepherd. Wow. There you go. It's Kimber Grobman making it easy for me. K on that one. The Wolf. <clears throat> The wolf and the shepherd. A shepherd, watched intensely as a wolf, prowled around a flock of sheep for a long time and, to his surprise, didn't try to cause any harm. Instead, the wolf appeared to be helping to keep the sheep together. The shepherd became so comfortable with having the wolf around that one day he let the wolf watch the flock while he ran an errand. That sounds like a mistake. Upon his return, he found many in the flock had been killed and taken. He felt foolish for trusting a wolf. The moral of the story, once a wolf, Always a wolf. Aesops. Letter K. That goes to all other letters not on the list. Matthew G. Some, some knowledge today, ladies and gentlemen. Some food for thought. That's nice Jason Dominguez right here. Kevin, thank you very much. We appreciate that. We're in the studio here in the ESPN campus. And looking at Chavez Ravine. Oh, it looks beautiful, Dodger Stadium. No one in there is sad. It's Ken Jennings, Jeopardy star. And we've got chess player Fabiano Caruna. Letter F goes to Matthew. Yeah, I don't know if that's a sequel to the Boy Who Cried Wolf. And there's Manon, Rayum. Letter M going to Gregory Peel. Good luck. Next one. So according to Bet Online, now since I have those odds up, World Series odds, the longest shot team at four hundred to one. Who do you think it is? Who do you think has, a, according to Bet Online, who do you think has the longest shot of winning the World Series? And I'll give you a clue. It's not the Orioles and it's not the Marlins. Mariners are plus 250,000. So there are 250 to 1. This team is 400 to 1. Longest shot, according to Bet Online. It might be slightly different in other books, but I've got this page up right now. So The Orioles and Marlins are 300 to 1. There you go. Oliver's got it. Pirates. Pittsburgh Pirates are 400 to 1. According to Bet Online, the longest shot to win the World Series. I mean, maybe.
Maybe there's a pirate fan out there. Put some coffee money on that. Maybe like a, a McDonald's coffee, a small McDonald's coffee on that. See what happens. I'm not sure, Jack. There's got to be other V's than that. Uh, checklists are notoriously hard for these Goodwin Champions stuff. V's in here? There's got to be. It's got to be more than more than one or two. The V nickel, one out of every 987 packs. That's pretty rare. That'd be a nice one to hit. I mean, there, there are some other V's in here. Yeah, Vince Russo, writer, is in here. Plus parallels and all that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other V's in here, too. All right, next box. There's Bianca Andriscu. There's Danny Trejo. Nice, letter D. That'll be for Oliver. There you go, Oliver. Nice. Does he have a machete in his hands? Is that from a movie? I don't, I'm not too familiar with the Danny Trejo catalog. Um, wasn't he in? Was he in Heat? I think he was in Heat. Part of Robert De Niro's crew. Oh, the movie is Machete? Oh, okay. There you go, Rich. Thanks. Was he in Breaking Bad too, says Jack? Malcolm says he was in Heat. I think so, right? He was uh, he was like one of the getaway drivers towards the end. And then Wayne Grow got him. And then Robert De Niro comes into the house. Who did this? Who did this? Wayne, Wayne Grove did this? I know, these packs are pretty terrible, Jack. 
Not, it's not a clean break here. Pretty big, uh, pretty big heat fan. I've never seen Breaking Bad. I think I saw the only episode I've seen was maybe the series finale. What's up, Rex? I don't know what we're trying to fill tonight. But we're trying to fill everything. Don't say everything, girl. Well, it's true, though. Why would I say nothing? Why would I say certain things? Everyone's trying to fill everything. A lot of stuff sold out. we got to go through a ton of orders after this. But the 25-box baseball mixer, the prism hobby filler break, two obsidian basketball, two-box breaks of uh, contenders hoops, the flawless collegiate, you know, we can fill more top Sterling. I mean, yeah, literally everything. Passing the torch, that's everything. So yeah, everything. I mean, these days, Rex, it's always everything. I guess people don't really don't like Obsidian for some reason. But we'll put those teams in, in, in like a number block tomorrow. All right. We're arguing about what what murals to put on the uh, on put on the shot wall. The uh, Lumberjack Minis. Yeah. Chargers mural here in LA. That wouldn't make any sense. We got Jin Yu Frey, MMA fighter. Going to letter J, John with letter J. I know, Bowl Bowl prices have skyrocketed. I hope everyone held on to those Bowl Bowl autographs they've been getting all season long. Yeah, you gotta put Vince Scully up there. Wait, why did you why did you sell those? James Holzenhauser. Another Jeopardy guy. Letter J. Ken Jennings, Jeopardy guy. And for the letter V, Vernon Carey Jr. See? Told you, Jack. A lot of, a lot of V's in here. It's a huge checklist. I don't know what his deal is, but there you go. V, Vernon Carey Jr., Jack B with V.
You would prefer, you still prefer the Viper fish? I don't know who Vernon Carey, Vernon Carey Jr. might be like a future, future star. Eric saying, nice Danny T. He is lagging behind by about 10, 15 minutes or so. Catch up, Eric. Oh, is he a Duke player? There you go, future, future lottery pick maybe? Oh, now he's saying machete. Yeah, he's, he's behind. Oh, he's a Duke sophomore basketball player. All right. That's a keeper, Jack. Just hold on to that. Gets drafted. Why did Bull Bull go up in price? Because he looks like he's going to start. Start the basketball restart games. A couple highlights of him. Uh, a couple highlights of him going way above the rim to make some dunks you know so really tall player could be really interesting you know gives the gives the nuggets a, a little bit of extra versatility some length that's for sure so it's just more attention on bowl bowl in general and then more people looking for his stuff driving up the market price this could happen to anybody so I, especially basketball. Basketball, the prices can change so quickly, both up and down. Rex is holding on to his Hachimuras. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Rex. I, I, I don't think I could have even. I don't think a lot of people would have predicted Bull Bull, you know, being like the surprise, a surprise rookie at this stage of the season. All right. See you tomorrow, Mike. Right, Victor is like, good thing I forgot to sell him, yeah. So there you go, you lucked out, you forgot about him. Probably got those bowl bowl hits from our breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You're like, damn it, Joe, those are terrible. And then now, all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably with more attention that he's getting now, there are probably people are realizing that he's Manute Bowl's son. That's hitting the mainstream. I think people were talking about I think people were talking about Manute Bowl Manute Bowl. About Bowl Bowl being God I hate these packs. I heard an interview yesterday where, where some scouts or some GMs were were maybe even considering taking him in even even higher. Vinny's in front of Vinny. Vinny H is saying I'm literally sitting here sifting through all of his 2019, 2020 rookies. Looking for bowl bowls to sell. Hachimura could be really interesting too, Rex. All right, last box. We got Wander Franco, and we've got a stamp, a Heads of State stamp. Wander W. Jeremy thirty three. Sorry, Jeremy. And then we got Heads of State, King of Norway, Hakan. Hacken, the, the seventh? H. That will go to all other letters not on the list. So that'll be for Matthew Shearer. This is what he's about. are backwards. Scarface Lumberjack for S. Danny Avigia, D. For Oliver, I think that that little thing you can scratch off is part of that bounty that Upper Deck is doing. I'll save that base Dominguez, one of those for you too, John. Yankees take a 3-1 lead at that point. And then at the top of the 
No, uh, do we not see a sea creature in this? I think we saw a manatee in the previous break. No other sea creatures here. Um, did you see a redemption on the bottom, Brad? Was that a re redemp? Negative. And there you go. Oh, let's do a quick little recap, shall we? And we'll get these properly top loaded before they go out. Nice, another fun break, ladies and gentlemen. Danny Trejo right here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking these uh, Goodwin champs with us. We appreciate it. There you go, the wheat scent, although they should have shown the back of the coin, which has the wheat on it. We got a cat, and we've got uh, Brendan Bayless from Umphreys McGee. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was six box random letter number seven of 2020. Upper Deck Goodwin Champions. Some fun stuff. Keep your eye out on the website for more. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.